kids on schoolhouse concrete Hand in hand, me and you I was just young and so stupid Thought I was keeping you Two kids on schoolhouse concrete hand Hi guys! If you're new here, my name is Jenna. I film a lot of productivity, lifestyle, bullet journal videos and vlogs, so if you want to hit subscribe, I really appreciate it. Welcome to another week in my life, you guys. Life outside of work vlog. This is my second full week living in this full apartment, and I'm still kind of fixing up some nooks and crannies here and there, but more or less, welcome to a week in my life. Happy Monday. Haven't said that yet. I'm kind of in a rush because I'm on my lunch break, but let me show you guys what I got from Thrive Market. If you guys have been watching my vlogs since the very, very beginning, since I had like 200 subscribers, I bought a Thrive Market annual membership maybe around in the fall or winter time, but I haven't updated you guys on it in a really long time. This is actually the fourth or fifth box, I think, that I've gotten from it. I showed you a little bit of the experience of unboxing your Thrive Market groceries, but basically an annual membership is around $54, I believe. I might be wrong, but I'll I'll put the price here and every membership that you buy unlocks basically a bunch of discounted organic groceries that you can pay at a discount for yourself but then the money that you paid for your annual membership actually goes to a membership to a family in need so it's actually really great all of the packaging is always 100% recyclable so also a very sustainable company and you just get discounted groceries especially organic groceries I feel like they're always so expensive at Whole Foods and Giant and stuff and so you're kind of turned off by getting things that are organic and more whole so that's why I love Thrive because all of these prices are discounted so much more than they would be at Whole Foods and yeah. Okay, so first off I needed, this is kind of what set me off to do another purchase from Thrive Market because I really needed more peanut butter, you guys. I'm in a huge peanut butter kick. I don't know why, but I just love everything with peanut butter. This is the one that I love. This is the Santa Cruz Organic creamy peanut butter. The last time I got this, I got the crunchy. Oh wait, this is crunchy. <laughs> okay. Well, I loved the crunchy so much. I guess I got it again, but I love this because look at the ingredients. It's just organic roasted peanuts and a little bit of salt. This peanut butter is so good. It literally tastes better than Jif, which is what I would always have before. And it's whole. So there's that. I got two rice cake boxes because I've been loving doing two rice cakes, some peanut butter, and then some jelly. So that's just kind of like my lighter breakfast if I ever choose to have it. And yeah, so I got some rice cakes. I also got an expeller pressed avocado oil spray. I used to use the canola oil, but I actually really love the avocado oil lately. So got one of these. Um, I also got some organic dry roasted salted cashews as a healthy snack. I'm trying to find more healthy and whole snacks other than fruit because for some reason I'm like rebellious lately and I just don't want to have any fruit as a snack. So I'm trying to find something that will fill me up, make me feel full, but it's also really tasty. So I picked up some cashews. This is new to Thrive Market, but we started selling the Hum Kombucha Zero and this is so good. I've had it in single packs before from Giant and it just tastes so good. I love the Hum Zero because there's zero added sugar and usually a lot of kombucha has a lot of added sugar. So I know that sugar is pretty important when it comes to making kombucha, but this kind of does the trick for me. So got one of these. I got some almond flour baking mix, a brownie mix from Simple Mills and I love this one. I've had like three different boxes at this point and it's so good. I got two of the Thrive Market plantain chips sea salt. I love these also as healthy snacks. Maybe not like the healthiest thing, but there's definitely worse things for chips than this. So plantain chips are always so good because they're very sweet. So they give me like my sweet tooth fix. Got two of those. And then lastly, I got a restock of the late July jalapeno lime tortilla chips. Oh my, you guys, these chips are so good. I think I only ever had them on their own. I don't like them with salsa or anything just because they taste so good alone. You guys, they're just so good. So definitely recommend the late July jalapeno lime if you're interested in some good lime chips. The jalapeno adds like a nice little kick to it too. So 
So yeah, that's everything that I got from Thrive Market. I believe I'll put my receipt and everything on the screen here so you guys can see what the discounts were. But it's nice because as you look for the products online on Thrive Market, you can see what the actual price would be if you got it at Whole Foods or something and then what Thrive Market's price is. So it's been a really long time since I've updated you on my Thrive Market membership and I just had to update you guys because it's Monday. I always tend to start my weekly vlogs late so I wanted to get this in as I picked up my package. And yeah, well that is it for right now. I'm gonna hop on work, get back to work, and I'll talk to you guys after work today. But I think I need to go to the mall or something today. I don't know, we'll see. I need to pick up a birthday gift, so I need to do that at some point today. And talk to you guys soon, but welcome to the vlog. Kicking it off with an unboxing, and yeah. Okay, back to work. Best friend. First friend. Happy end of the workday, guys. Oh my god, to be honest, I still haven't put away my Thrive Market stuff because I ended up having to work through dinner, but it's totally okay. To be honest, I wasn't even that productive in the morning because my client didn't provide all of our documents to us until like the afternoon, early afternoon. So I feel like I just kind of shifted my whole day towards the end of the day as opposed to the morning, but that's just how it goes sometimes when you're waiting on clients. Also, you guys, my ice maker, Oh my god, I don't even think I told you guys about this. Let me put my pasta down. My ice maker has not worked since I moved in. And it's actually really frustrating. I don't even think I told you guys about this because I've just been waiting for so long. But technically my lease started in the beginning of July. It's been over four weeks at this point. I put in a ticket request that my ice maker was not working. They came and fixed it around like three or four days later. Said to wait a couple of hours. I did, waited a couple of days. I even went to New York in that time. And when I came back, ice maker still was not working. And so I was like, okay, ice maker is not working. And then my apartment complex said that a contractor was gonna come on Tuesday, August 3rd. And that was in like July. So I was like, okay, if there's somebody that's coming, then it'll be fixed. And then August 3rd went by and still was not fixed. I don't even think anybody ever came. So that was kind of frustrating. And so I emailed the community manager and I was like, it's the summertime, my ice maker doesn't work. What am I spending all this money on? Just kidding, I wasn't that mean about it. But luckily I have little ice trays that I already bought from my old apartment. And it's like a really small thing. So I never really followed up until like way after the fact because I didn't really care that much. But at this point, it's been a really long time. And so I was like kind of pushing their buttons being like, okay, why doesn't it work? Um, and somebody came today changed out the ice maker completely because apparently it's actually more common than you think to be in a new building and have stuff like this um, not work with the appliances. So, so the guy changed my ice maker, but not my fridge. But he said if it's not working by six o'clock, then to put another ticket in. You guys, and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't see any ice in there. So I think we're gonna have to put another ticket in. Something's just not hooked up right, or maybe I need a new fridge. You know, that is the nice thing about paying rent. If something doesn't work, well, they come and fix it. I'm watching Kiva's video right now to just like decompress and enjoy myself. Cause I always, <laughs> I'm always happy when I watch her. I made some pasta with chicken. I had this for dinner yesterday, but honestly it was so good. I just made it again. It's like a mixture of macaroni noodles and fusilli pasta with one chicken breast cooked with olive oil, salt, and pepper. That's it. This is my dinner tonight. It's 6.52. I have to put away all my Thrive Market stuff and I actually have an Amazon package. It's my cable management system. You guys are so sweet and you've all been commenting to figure out my cables because you know that it probably bothers me and it does. We will fix that, but you know, Honestly, if you work later than you're supposed to or later than you intended to, it's totally okay to not be productive personally right after work. I'm just gonna sit here, eat my pasta, drink my glass of wine, 
and watch YouTube. And sometimes you just really need that. So I will talk to you guys. Since I'm just going to be sitting here, I will talk to you guys after I'm done and when I'm ready to put stuff away and set up my cable management system and stuff. Yeah, just, I don't know. This is a week in my life. I want to be realistic. And when work ends, especially if it's like well past five and work ends, I'm like, I just need to exist. <laughs> so I'm going to go exist. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys soon. But happy Monday. Are you guys proud of me? I started this on a Monday. I'll keep you guys updated because this is a weekly vlog, but this is so frustrating. If I'm paying for rent and this place was supposed to do walk-ins, walk-in checks and stuff before I moved in, shouldn't this have not happened? <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna keep my towel underneath the fridge and freezer just in case it's still leaking, but I emailed her and I was like, so I've come home and now there's a puddle. Like, should this have happened? <laughs> I felt so rude, but if you don't say something, then you're just going to be unfairly treated as a tenant. So I will keep you guys updated. I'm sure that I'm sure she'll get back to me, honestly, like by the morning and I'll let you guys know how that went. But now that that intermission's done, let's set up my cable management system. The technician actually came just now and looked at my fridge for a little bit. He took like the whole thing out, but basically there's a tube in the back of the fridge that was not tightened all the way. So whenever it would try to make ice, the water would just basically flow to the back of the fridge and through the floors. But basically he cut the water so that tomorrow he'll come and tighten it and make sure nothing's leaking. Water damage is actually really dangerous for a building. I'm on a higher up floor, so any water damage that happens on my floor basically just trickles down to the ones below me. So, so water damage always calls for like an immediate look into. So got that figured out. Hopefully it'll work tomorrow. I'll keep you guys updated, but also here's the cable management system. It definitely looks a lot better than before, but honestly, you guys, like it's just still not really great. So this thing like barely fits. I had to like basically jam it shut because there's just so much stuff in this so yeah i don't know i might get a new one I'm trying to figure it out I, i'm like sad because usually everything that i've bought for this place has worked out and it's been like a good choice and i thought that, that was going to be big enough but i guess it's not so i will keep you guys updated about that but for now i'm just gonna accept my defeat and I tried my best. At least it's a little better than last time. I think the fridge just put me in a bad mood because I'm like, I come home and I'm like, what the heck am I stepping on water? <laughs> so whatever. But I figured to end off this day well, I'm going to open this package. I know that this will make me happy. A subscriber actually reached out to me, Tina, I know you're watching. And she wanted to send me some candles that she made because she makes homemade candles. And you guys, I can't believe any of you wants to send me anything. I, I just can't believe it. I love you guys. I just love you guys. Oh my God. To Jenna, love Tina. I'm sending you a few gifts that I make and enjoy. You have inspired me to want to do more and be a better person. Oh my gosh, and your kids signed it too. Wow, thank you so much, Tina and your kids. Thank you so much. I can't wait to open this. Oh my God, this is such a special moment. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she made these candles. Okay, she makes her own handmade candles, you guys. This one's called Euphoria and it's wild berry. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, it smells like a berry like dessert. Wow, that smells so good. Okay, and here's the other one. This one's called International Playboy Scent Blue Raspberry. 
Whoa! Oh my god, what the fuck? <gasps> wow, look at that. Oh my god. Whoa! Oh my god, this smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this. They smell like floral and sweet, but not overbearing. Tina, I know you're watching. Thank you so, so much. I'm so excited. I'm literally gonna put these under my TV stand and display them so that I always think of you and everyone else will always see them. And just, oh my gosh, this is so sweet. Fearlesslyconfidentcosmetics.com. Check her out because so sweet. I'm gonna keep this card forever. That actually really put me in a good mood. I was not in a good mood before I opened this box and now I'm just happy and grateful and I can go to sleep now. So Tina, you helped me tonight. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go to sleep now as I'm still in a good mood. I'm gonna go to sleep and I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Hand in hand, me and you Best friend 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 Good morning guys It is 6.30 now and I'm really proud of myself because my alarm went off at 5.45 and I really debated. I was like, should I sleep? I looked at my calendar for work today and I actually have a really busy day. So in the off case that I cannot work out during work today, since I'm working from home, then I gotta get my workout in now. There's just something about working out in the morning that's so rewarding because you just kind of enter your whole day knowing you've already done it, if that makes sense. So I'm excited. It's leg day and that's actually really hard to do in the mornings on an empty stomach and everything. Let's have a good day. And I gotta hop on work pretty early today. Have a pretty busy day ahead of me. Before I go to the gym, today's gym outfit is, I feel like I wear this combo a lot, but it's just like, it puts me in a good mood. This is my Vital Seamless Leggings. My old roommate, Rachel, got these for me right before we moved out. And I just always think of her when I wear them. And she's the one that got me really inspired to like start lifting and stuff. So that's what I'm wearing for the bottom. And then this sports bra is the Whitney Simmons Gymshark 2.0 collab. And I just love this combo together. I think it's so cute. So happy Tuesday, let's go to the gym. I'll talk to you guys later, but I just wanted to say good morning. Hi guys, it is 10.30 right now. I'm like still starting my work day, but I wanted to show you guys an update of the cable management system because I know last night, I don't even know if I'm gonna leave it, but last night I was feeling so defeated and just like failed by the cable management thing that I got. But I moved some things around and I think actually this works so much better. So let me show you what I did. So here's how it looks right now. All I really need to get now is just the, like the white cover up so that this can just blend in together. But you guys, this looks so much better. This looks so much better. I'm like testing out what my Zoom background would look like to just make sure that it's like still professional and everything. But I moved my monitor from the right side to the left side. And then I have my charger cables and the cable from my monitor to the outlet. Those are together now. And so yeah, the struggle about having a standing desk is that you need to make sure that the wires have enough give when you're actually standing. I think the box actually works very, very well. And yeah, I think this just looks so much better. It also makes more sense to have my cups and everything on the right side because I'm right-handed. So it just kind of, it just kind of naturally works out more this way, I think. Okay. Okay, not bad. I don't really know if like the wire thing will work because the only hard part about having a standing desk is that like you need to have all of this space to move. So not really sure still, but definitely an improvement from last night, I think at least. Well, that's everything right now. I'll talk to you guys after work today. I have a really, really busy day. So I just need to like continue on and stuff with my day, but I wanted to give you guys an update and I'll talk to you guys after work. right now and I'm gonna sign on work um, it's Wednesday totally didn't vlog after work I ended up getting off work right at 5 30 but then my old roommate Eileen came over immediately afterwards and then we actually went to a birthday dinner for our other old roommate Reha so I ended up just 
being with people and being present and I know that I hope you guys don't think it's like a bad excuse but I want to show you guys so much of my week and I feel like I keep thinking I need to show you every single little bit of my week outside of work but that's just not the case <laughs> or else this video would be like seven hours long or something but happy Wednesday. I thought yesterday was Wednesday like all day. So like it just felt like the longest day ever. And so I was just happy to like be around people and like be off and everything. So I did that and then I came home, immediately started editing my video, went to sleep and then finished up the video this morning. I still have to do like some finishing touches like the intro and everything. And then that video will be done. But I wanna get started on work a little bit early today just because I guess that's it. I just wanna ease into my Wednesday morning. So that's what we're doing right now. I just wanted to say hello and happy Wednesday. I'm eating a rice cake, a peanut butter and jelly rice cake. And it's the best thing ever. My emails and reminders are starting. So I'll talk to you guys soon, but good morning. It's 5.30 right now, I just finished work. We're finally gonna do this now. I'm actually really nervous. So where we left off with this is we put the peel and stick wallpaper on and it looks so good. But lastly, I wanted to get black door handles because it matches this anyways. It matches like the bottom of the TV stand anyways. They look basically identical to the ones that I have now except that they're black, so. I'm scared. I don't know why. I like measured out where the holes would be. So I think I got the right size, but let's just see. Oh my God, wait. That looks so nice. They're actually a little bit longer than the original ones too. Okay, we'll put the other one on and then Oh my god, it looks really good. I can take like this. Please, please, no, I can't live like this. Please, won't you please save me from Okay. Okay, guys. Let me show you. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. You guys, this looks so good. It looks so much better than before. I hope you guys agree. I don't even know why they weren't black to begin with because the legs are black. Nothing was even this color in the first place. So, oh my God, that looks so much better. Oh my God. <laughs> We're just gonna keep this in my TV stand, but wow. Okay, comment right now and let me know what you guys think. Okay, the next thing that I got is a new mouse pad, you guys know. I'm not sure if I explained this well enough before, or I definitely have in the past, but when I first started my job, you guys, I had crazy wrist pain. Like, it was so bad, it hurt to like turn the keys in my car, and it hurt to like open door handles and stuff. So, I had no idea what was going on, and I decided to get one of these mouse pads with a wrist rest, like an ergonomic wrist rest, just to see if it would work, and it completely cured my pain. It was so weird. I was like, oh my god, I'm aging, what's going on? And then I got one of these and it fixed it right away, so I know that these aren't like the cutest things in the world, but I just actually cannot go without it anymore, and I mean... I showed you guys what my old one looks like. This thing is so dirty. I've, okay, you can see, right? Ew. So I got a similar, like, it's actually from the same exact vendor of this thing, but it's still marble, but it's black now. So I'm really, really hoping that this wears well over time. I don't know, is that satisfying? I put that away. And I still have to do the dishes, but I finished my last couple of servings of the steep tonic that I just got a refill of. So this is my old one that I'm washing so that I can recycle it. But here's the brand new one. Oh, you guys, this is seriously the best wellness shot ever. It like, I promise it will change your life. I am gonna go to the gym because I really wanna walk. I don't really know if I wanna lift or anything today but I just wanna walk at least. I, You guys, I didn't even take like a lunch break today. My lunch break was uploading my video and like writing the description box and I've gotten no exercise. It's raining outside now, so I can't go outside and I just need to move. 
at least I stood a lot today, but I need to move. So I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm not gonna take you guys, but I'll talk to you guys after my workout. Also, you guys, Thomas is so nice. He Venmoed me food money because I was telling him how like crappy and busy of a day I was having. And he was so nice, he Venmoed me $20. So I'm gonna get something on Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. You're the best. Happy freaking end of the work day. <laughs> Thursday and it's around seven o'clock right now and I'm about to go film a video you guys I intended to film tomorrow's video yesterday and that just didn't end up happening I basically just relaxed for the rest of the day and I didn't even really turn the camera on with you guys much after work but it was Mary's birthday my friend Mary from work you guys know her by now hopefully she hasn't spoken but she's like waved here and there um, it was her birthday yesterday, so so I went to go drop off um, just a small gift for her. I went with my friend Andrew, and yeah, that was really all we did. <laughs> that was my that was my evening. But I need to go film this video so that I can edit it after work for you guys tomorrow. Oh my god, at least it's Thursday, which means tomorrow's Friday. Thursday is just like mentally Friday to me. So hopefully this day goes by fast and. I can start the weekend, but happy Thursday, you guys. I'm about to bring this coffee into my car. That's why I have a travel mug, but I'm gonna go film my post-grad q and I asked you guys on Instagram um, to submit any questions you have in regards to post-grad life, work, moving, everything, because I feel like I haven't done a Q&A in a while and I have lots of new friends here. So I'm gonna go do that now. I will talk to you guys maybe in the middle of my work day if I'm, if I need somebody, <laughs> but yeah, I'm also, I need to put away my laundry. I'm gonna go film my video and, oh, last thing. My ice maker works, yay. Very happy they got that working. They came and fixed it the next day. So they, was that yesterday or Tuesday? I forget what day it was, but they came and fixed it like the very next day and then it started working, so that's good. Okay, seriously, I gotta go film my video. I'm procrastinating. Okay, talk to you guys later. It is 2 p.m. right now. I haven't talked to you guys since the morning, but oh yeah, I filmed my Q&A this morning and for you guys, it was like a crazy Q&A. My battery on my, my camera kept like overheating, so I had to like turn it off three separate times, but it was successful and we got it done and I'm really excited to edit it. I love Q&As, I just think they're really fun. Okay, let's go make our afternoon coffee and I'll talk to you guys after work. I am gonna see more work friends today. I'm seeing lots of work friends lately with you guys, but I see my work friends all the time, but you guys are probably wondering like, where is Jerry and Jay? They're still here, they just don't live in this building. So when I see them, I don't usually bring my camera, but they are still here, still my best friends. Okay, I really need to take my coffee. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I'm going to address, I'm pretty sure the last time I talked to you guys, I was like, talk to you after work. I honestly can't even remember at this point, but happy Friday. I'm about to go to the gym, so you guys are definitely gonna be like, you're so stupid, but I have a sty. Oh my god, I feel like it looks really bad. But I just cannot go to the gym with my glasses. I just, I can't do that. So I'm only gonna wear these contacts for the gym anyways, and then I'm just gonna go right back into wearing glasses for the rest of the day. Um, but I threw out my mascara and everything, and I just, I'm only gonna wear this for an hour and a half. I don't know, it's been like, it's been a good couple of days since I've had this dye. That's why I've been wearing my glasses so much. But I went to this place in DC called Residence and I didn't bring you guys just because I was with my friends, Jess and Molly from work actually. It was like a little girls dinner thing. So we went to this place called Residence in DC and I'll put like my Instagram stories and stuff here, but it was really fun. The food was so good and we had like espresso martinis, fantastic. So that's what I did after work. Being very social this week, I feel like. Also, here is my workout outfit today. I'm wearing a Lululemon long line energy bra. I think this one's discontinued because like the strap is all weird in the back, but it's just a white one. I'll link something similar and then 
I actually think these leggings are discontinued as well, but they're from Gymshark and they're the old original camo line and now it's just called the adapt camo seamless line so i don't think this exact color is available anymore but i'll still link the new adapt camo line because it's honestly much better material than this i have the pink one and i like it a lot more so today i'm just wearing an old pair of leggings i've also been doing a warm compress but this does not look does not look good we can see the whole world we can see the stars and even Kiva, who is DIY with KB, she said that she sent me something. <laughs> if anybody wants to send me anything, I don't understand, but just thank you so much. I'm so grateful. And let's open this together. Kiva, I know you're watching. But I'm sure, honestly, a lot of you are here because Kiva is so sweet to shout me out in her videos and her stories and everything. But she is an interior designer. We went to the same high school and she has an amazing YouTube channel where she teaches you how to achieve the luxe look for less. And my whole entire apartment I guess design, well, excuse how messy it is right now, but my whole entire apartment was totally inspired by her and her design style. So I love you, Kiva. What if this isn't even from Kiva and I just don't know what this is? <laughs> it says, congrats on your first solo apartment, KB. <laughs> oh my God. You guys, these are, pure linen sheets. First of all, Kiva, thank you so much. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. I was literally, you guys, you guys, I was literally texting Kiva earlier today asking her what her top picks from West Elm were. And she said that their bed sheets were really good. And I was like, I should really get new bed sheets that are really good. And she got me bed sheets. <laughs> That's so funny. What a crazy coincidence. Oh my God. Kiva, thank you so much. I'm gonna wash these immediately put them on my bed, enjoy my glass of wine. In my dinner, I'm making coconut marinated kebabs from Trader Joe's. Well, I'm gonna wash these and put them on my bed. And then, yeah. Oh my God, I just opened your gift. <laughs> We're standing in the big one. Oh my God, thank you guys so much.
guys, I put on the sheets. I was FaceTiming Jerry as I was putting on the new italic sheets, but you guys. We put the linen sheets on and the flat sheet and the pillowcases and now I'm like, oh my god, I need the duvet set. So, so that's what's going on with the sheets. Everything is so cute. And then, and then I know I showed you guys a little bit before, but here's how the cable management system is working. And honestly, I think this is as good as it can be. So I'll move this down, but you guys saw it came with like a pack of 50 of these little it's like tape on the back but then it's like a little hook so what i did was put a hook right there so that the cables would just line in together at least and then i put one on the bottom of the desk and then i put one on the side of the desk too so i know it's not perfect but honestly with the box and then with the wires holding everything together i think this is as realistically good as it can get because you guys, this is a standing desk. So if I bring everything up to my standing height, like I need to give some leeway for everything to raise, you know? So, okay, like you can see how the power block is higher now, but this is how it all looks when it's raised. And honestly, that's the best that I can do given that that thing is huge. So I'm pretty proud of this. And the little hooks as well just really helped because like you can group together all of the wires and all I really have to do if I like actually really care that much is just pull the wire down so that it's hidden. So I think this looks really good. Here's how the media console's looking. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with the mirror and stuff. I think that's kind of like my outstanding item that I talked about this week. So you guys know I want to put some sort of art there probably. Maybe not, maybe not anything there anymore. Here's what I think I'm going to do with this mirror. I think I'm going to hang it so it's a little higher. It's kind of like more here instead of here. So that won't be leaning. And then I think, honestly, hopefully, once I hang it up on the wall, then I can have more space to put an art print or something there. Jackie made this beautiful art print for me, you guys, and it's just so pretty. I like really want to print it. I'm just still trying to figure out like, do I keep this mirror or not? And I think I want to. I think it just looks so nice because you can see the reflection of the sky here and it's just, it looks really nice. I think that's what we're going with, but I just can't decide. And then I just kind of cleaned my place and like tidied up, organized everything, like sanitized my whole apartment. That was my crazy Friday night. <laughs> I think I got a lot done. And honestly, I feel really good about my space. Like I feel like everything is actually so clean and tidy. I feel pretty good. I would say this is honestly a very successful Friday night. And I even finished my bottle of wine. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go to sleep now. It's like, I think it's close to midnight. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here today. I hope you guys had fun coming along with me on a work week in my life, kind of what I'm up to outside of work. All the apartment updates that I made this week, honestly not much, but I can't spend so much money to get it all done right away. The outstanding items can definitely take its time. I also wanna take the time to find the right piece of art too, especially for like the canvases and stuff that I wanna put in the living room. I wanna find the right thing. I don't wanna just like rush that. It was a really good week. I hung out with a lot of friends and just enjoyed it. It was a long work week but outside of work, it was a great week. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video, but until then, miss you already.